Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that bell button and the subscribe button so you can make sure you see all my videos. I have videos coming out every Wednesday. Here we have a 40 Smith & Wesson battle today. We have the M&P Shield. And it's a 3.1 inch barrel and we have the SIG 239 with its 3.6 inch barrel. And we are shooting 165 grain Hornady critical defense with their FTX bullet. Most of you are probably familiar with this round. It's a great little round. The little plug in the front, the rubber plug is supposed to ensure expansion and also help it not get stopped by clothing. So that's a pretty good thing and these things do typically expand well and penetrate well. The box says it's going 1175 feet per second. We know we're not going to get that out of these small barrels, but we will see what we do get. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, here on Alaskan Ballistics, back to 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, we have the Hornady 165 grain critical defense. Going to shoot five rounds out of the shield with a 3.1 inch barrel, and then we'll shoot five rounds out of the SIG 239. Both short barrels, one's a little longer than the other. Here we go. 1079. 1088. 1079 again. 1066. 1096. Not bad, not bad at all. Here we go. SIG 239. Hornady Critical Defense. 1154, 1163, 1161, 1144, 1150. Man, thing shoots so smooth, but I just ride that slide release. It shoots so much smoother than that shield, though. All right, y'all, check out the add-up slide. We'll do a penetration test after that. Okay, y'all, I am going to just let you pause the video here, and you can read all the facts for yourself. Obviously, the higher speed average got more energy with the SIG 239. 3.6 inch barrel helps. We were at 46 degrees Fahrenheit, 800 feet of elevation with lots of wind that day. My shout out this week is going to go to Glock Shooter 79. Glock Shooter 79. Go check him out. Great guy. Wonderful 2A supporter. Some live chats and good videos. Here we go. Smith & Wesson MP Shield 1.0 version. I'm not going to do it out of the 239 because we only got one watermelon left. So this is the Hornady Critical Defense. And here we go. Hornady Critical Defense. Cantaloupe, water jugs, just for fun. I don't take this type of penetration test as anything as it's going to do in the human body. Just It's just for fun. And just to see it explode and see, watch what the bullet do, can do in this medium. It does give a little fleshy with the watermelon. And it does do alright with the water jugs as far as expansion is concerned. Here we go. 1,000. Okay, looks like it went definitely into the first jug and out of it. And I'm not sure if it made it into the second jug or if it bounced off. Okay, looks like it went. bounced off. He hit this and bounced off. Some biscuit eater. Okay, since we couldn't find the one out of the shield, I'm going to use the one, uh, the 239 now. And the shield went all the way through one, but bounced off the second. If I remember correctly, been shooting all day. For the chronograph, it is going faster out of the 239. We didn't have a cantaloupe left, so we stack all the husk of cantaloupes up, and hopefully that'll give us some representation of something as far as penetration is concerned. Here we go. And I think that one went out the side too. I can see the side hole. So hopefully we slowed it down enough that we can find it. But.
So even though we saw water come out the side, it is in the bottom of the second jug. All right, took the first jug completely out. So let's see how we did here. Got some jacket fragment or some core fragments right there. And then there is our 180 critical defense. Still expanded, still pretty deadly round. Would not want to be hit with that. Got, got good penetration between all those husks of cantaloupe. Thank y'all very much. Support us on Patreon. Support us on Facebook, Instagram. Alaskan Ballistics. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.